Whoa, you can smell it as soon as you've opened it. Oh, is that my fault for your love? So today on Two Tracks, Tries are going to be trying chocolate bars with M&M's in it. So first we have his hazelnut chocolate M&M's. Second we have his chocolate M&M's. Third we have his peanut M&M's. And the one I'm looking forward to trying the most is the crunchy m and So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first one we're going to try is the hazelnut M&M chocolate bar. So yeah, let's just get this open. Oh, you can smell it as soon as you've opened it. And look, it's really cool too. It's got a little M&M character on it. So yeah, let's just snip off a piece and give it a try. Give it a smell test. It just smells like chocolate. So yeah, let's snap off a piece before it melts. Mm, that's actually really good because the hazelnut is actually soft. So when you bite down on it, you have the softness of the chocolate and then the softness of the hazelnut. So yeah, it's really, really good. The chocolate's not like the highest quality of chocolate, but it's still very good and I definitely recommend it. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. So next one we're gonna try is the peanut chocolate bar one. So yeah, let's get that open and give it a try. Mm, this is another one you can smell as soon as you've opened it. And I'm looking forward to trying this one. So yeah, let's just snip off some pieces and give it a try. Give it a smell test. Yeah, you can smell the peanuts straight away. So yeah, let's give it a try. Mmm, this is actually really good. And like the other one, it actually has a full peanut inside it. But what's different than the other one, apart from it being peanut, actually is the chocolate has a peanut buttery taste to it, which is really, really good. And I definitely recommend it. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. And the camera ran out of memory, so we're back now. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. So we have the chocolate one now, and this one's going to be good because you can never go wrong with the chocolate M&M. So yeah, let's get it open. The chocolate that they use in this one, you can smell it as soon as you open it, which is good. So yeah, I've got a piece. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that was really good, and I really like like the fact that it had a crunch which is just the shell of the M&M. The only problem I have with this one which is the same as I had with the first one the chocolate's not high quality. When the flavor is only chocolate it's not really something I can recommend so yeah let's get on to the next one. So the next one we've got is the crunchy M&M and I'm really looking forward to this one so yeah let's get it open and give it a try. Oh this one's quite interesting as well I don't know if you can see it but it actually has crunchy pieces all the way down it so yeah let's get a piece off and give it a try. Mm, that one's actually really good because it has the crunchy pieces the M&M pieces and the chocolate and when you bite down on it, the first thing you taste is the crunch, which is an amazing taste. It tastes a bit like a Rice Krispie, but a bit harder. So yeah, it tastes really good. And then when you bite down even more, you get the chocolate flavor, you get the M&M's crunch, and it's so good. It's amazing. So yeah, I recommend it. And let's get on to the rating system now. But yeah, they were all good in their own little way, but I have to rate them fairly. And I think the crunchy one was amazing. So out of them all, I rate that a nine. So I rate the peanut one a seven because I like the fact that it tastes like peanut butter mixed in with the flavor of the chocolate. So yeah, that one's really good and I rate that one a seven. So I rate the hazelnut one a four because hazelnuts aren't something I particularly like. So yeah, I can't really recommend that one for myself. And the last one is the chocolate one and I rate that one a three because it's not terrible at all. It's something that I really do enjoy and I'll definitely finish and maybe buy again if I find it cheaper. But because of the prices of these, they're quite expensive. It's not something that I can recommend for its flavor feeling a bit cheap and the flavor reflecting on that. So yeah, I definitely can't recommend that one. So you've been watching Two Tracks Tries a various different M&M chocolates. And this video was actually brought to you by Lauren, which is really nice of her. She actually donated these chocolates to me to make this video. So yeah, give us some love in the comments. That'll be really nice. So if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. My Snapchat logo will be somewhere over there and a link to my Instagram and Twitter and donation links will be in a link in the description below. And we will see you back on Saturday. Saturday, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, Miss Mars, sorry I was careless. Change this, well, I thought that we.